Hi, Avon Grove. There's no question that this is a great place to live. We have an amazing community filled with hardworking, caring individuals. In our schools, we have a strong team of teachers and staff working hard to make sure our students receive a challenging, innovative 21st century education. By now, you've probably heard that we're looking to make some improvements to Avon Grove Schools. You likely have a few questions, and I'm here to help. First of all, why are we doing this? Avon Grove's educational mission is to foster a learning environment for all students to be exceptionally well prepared to succeed and lead full and meaningful lives. Our current facilities are standing in the way of providing access to the proven 21st century teaching methods that ensure student success. Specifically, our schools are over capacity. Taken as a group, our schools are operating at 114% of functional capacity, which is above the recommended 90% functional capacity utilization rate. Our schools provide 31% less square footage per student than our regional counterparts. The existing high school can only accommodate 36% of the demand for STEM classes. In addition, they suffer from a variety of mechanical deficiencies, create limits on extracurricular programs and athletics, and are not in line with currently recommended grade configurations. At this point, doing nothing is doing a disservice to our students and to our community. The next question, what have we accomplished so far? This process started all the way back in 2007 when the district purchased a plot of land on Sunnyside Road in anticipation of future growth needs. Next came a feasibility study, lots of meetings, and significant financial planning. In 2016, the Facilities Input Group, or FIG, was created. The FIG was made up of 15 community members, administrators, and board members who were tasked with developing a non-binding recommendation to the board for the future of Avon Grove's facilities. They spent 16 months touring facilities, speaking with the experts, and working together with the help of consultant Foster Jacobson Johnson, an organization that specializes in K-12 facility project planning and facilitating. The FIG came up with the following recommendation. 1. Build a new middle school and campus for grades 6 through 8 on the previously purchased Sunnyside Road site. 2. Renovate the current middle school and high school buildings to form a redesigned high school campus. 3. Reconfigure the grades at other schools so Avangrove Intermediate School serves grades 2 through 5 and Penn London Elementary serves kindergarten and first grade. After the FIG presented its recommended plan to the Board of School Directors, the district held a series of 23 listening posts inviting community members, teachers, students, and other stakeholders to share their thoughts, concerns, ideas, and opinions on the potential facilities plans. More than 81% agreed with the FIG that the Avon Grove School District needs to move forward with building a new facility to help meet the needs of the current and future student population. So the next question is how much is this going to cost? Well, that all depends on what the board selects. Funding levels are still under consideration by the Board of School Directors. In the meantime, to see what the potential tax implication will be for your home, please visit our website at www.avangrove.org facilities for a handy tax calculator. In comparison, Avangrove is currently the fourth lowest tax district in Chester County. According to the Pennsylvania Department of Education, Avangrove's expenses per pupil is ranked second lowest in Chester County and number 426 out of 500 across all schools in Pennsylvania. The time has come to invest in our students' futures. Finally, what's next? This spring, the board is expected to vote on the pathway for the district's facilities plan, and we want to hear from you. Right now, twice a month, the board is holding Committee of the Whole Facilities meetings to determine next steps. We encourage you to attend these meetings to learn more and share your thoughts. The schedule can be found on the Avon Grove Facilities page. Please visit our website to learn more at www.avongrove.org forward slash facilities, or better yet, come to our facilities meetings. See you there!